As you must have seen, we still have a few PL2CAD and PL2CAD S3D scanners available from our website. And now you might wonder, which one should I choose? Will it work in my application? Or how is it different from a PL3? Well, this is exactly what we're here to find out in this video, so stay tuned to find out. Both scanners have similar hardware with one important difference. The PL2 has a bigger field of view in comparison to the 2S. Now, the field of view is the area captured by the scanner in a single image. A uh, bigger one means the scanner will capture bigger patches at a time and therefore scan faster. But since both scanners have similar cameras, this also means that it will capture less resolution per image in comparison to the 2S. Now, if you think of a camera, this is a bit like uh, capturing a landscape versus a macro picture with the same camera. Ultimately, this means the PL2 is better adapted to medium to large parts, and the 2S is ideal for smaller objects with finer details. Now, theoretically, they have no maximum size of objects that either scanner can scan, but they definitely have their sweet spot. And for reference, when we say small objects, we mean something between the size from 2 to 20 inches, and when we say medium to large parts, we mean 1 to 10 feet. Of course, the biggest interest of PL3D scanners is to perform reverse engineering. Now, 3D scanners typically capture the shape of objects in STL. Uh, this is great if you want to send this data to a 3D printer, but it's not ideal if you want to bring your data into your CAD software to work with. Both of these scanners are equipped with a license of PL2CAD, our dedicated reverse engineering software module that lets you extract valuable information from your scans and transfer them directly into your CAD software. Now, with this software module, you'll be able to create a wide range of entities, planes, cylinders, spheres, cones, etc. Uh, you'll also be able to create surfaces either manually or automatically. Uh, you'll be able to extract center lines from pipelines, create cross sections, and a lot more. And all of this, you'll be able to transfer to your CAD software. These uh, scanners also come equipped with PL software. Um, so this will let you align your scans, fill holes, isolate uh, your objects and your scans from their surrounding environment and more. All these tools are needed in order to recreate a real world object and bring it into kit. So we've established what you can do with these uh, 3D scanners, but um, then you might be wondering what applications uh, can they be useful in? Um, well, of course, uh, one of the most popular applications for PL3D has always been automotive tuning, capturing the shape of a vehicle in order to use it as a start point for designing custom parts has always been very handy. Uh, but these scanners can also capture both the geometry and the color of objects. Uh, this is quite useful if you want to try to scan something like a collection for museology or for heritage preservation. Um, they can also digitize the shape of patients per se, quite useful in medical applications if you want to create, for instance, uh, custom fitted prosthetics and orthotics. This is a great application. They're also super useful for artists interested in working with digital tools. Um, PL3D scanners have also been often involved in special effects and movie productions. Uh, they're great for digitizing actors on set, uh, movie props, or specific sections of a movie set, per se. Um, these scanners are also great with 3D printers, since the files that they generate are in STL format, so they can be directly sent to a 3D printer if needed. Um, and they're also uh, the ideal tool to have in a school or a fabrication lab for design purposes. And lastly, you might be wondering how do PL3D scanners differ from a generation to another? Well, uh, I must say that PL3 is quite a major leap forward technologically speaking. They're about superior in every aspect to their previous generation. Uh, they roughly have the resolution capability of the 2S with the field of view of the 2. Um, they're faster, they're better with holes and intricate geometry, they're more accurate, more capable uh, in terms of scanning different materials, and different surface finishes. And the PL3 also features built-in innovations such as a touchscreen or a haptic sensor that's quite useful during the scan. That being said, the PL2 and 2S are still very capable scanners. Now, they used to be the best we had to offer and are still widely used today for several applications. At less than half the price of the PL3.can 3D scanner, uh, this is certainly worth your considerations, especially since it comes fully loaded with PL2CAD and a rugged case. If it works in your application, uh, it also might fit your budget a whole lot better. 
So that's all we had to say for today. We hope this video has given you a lot to think about. Now remember the PL2 CAD and PL2 CAD S3 scanners are directly available from our website and will only be available while supplies last. As usual, drop us a line should you have any questions and thanks for watching.